Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the Governor of Virginia and remain standing for the presentation of colors and the singing of the national anthem. be seated. Welcome. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the ribbon cutting for this innovative program formed through a public-private pri partnership, one of the first of its kind. I'd like to welcome our first cohort of students lining our stage who are part of the newly established Governor's Health Science Academy at T.C. Williams High School the first governor's school for ACPS. And thank you to all of our parents and guardians who have supported these fine students and ma made it possible for them to be here today. It's now my honor to acknowledge the leaders who are here with us today to support our partnership. Dr. Gregory C. Hutchings, Superintendent of Schools for ACPS. Dr. Thomas LeBlanc, President of the George Washington University. Dr. Jeffrey Ackman, Vice President of Health Affairs at the George Washington University and Dean of the George Washington University School of Medicine and Health Sciences, and the Governor of Virginia, the Honorable Ralph Northam. You'll be hearing from each of them in the next few minutes. Following their remarks, we'll cut the ribbon as a symbol of our launch of this incredible program. As the largest high school in Virginia, we aim to be leaders and innovators in our programming, our academics, our athletics, our student activities, and more. This program is just one example 
of how we are leading the way, and we are so proud to be doing it in partnership with the prestigious George Washington University School of Medicine and Health Sciences. It was December of 2016 when initial conversations about a strategic educational partnership first began as a way to explore creative and innovative avenues to prepare students for the workforce of tomorrow and to address the shortage of qualified health care workers in Virginia and the wider US. And over the next eight months, these conversations evolved into deep discussions and planning sessions, leading to a formal partnership in August of 2017. The development of the program continued in earnest as teams of faculty and administrators from ACPS and GW worked collaboratively to broaden and enrich the offerings for the students. And they succeeded. Last June, it was endorsed as a Governor's Health Science Academy at T.C. Williams High School, and we are proud and excited to have our first 100 students enrolled in this cohort. This partnership is a perfect example of how public and private organizations can work to serve our young people in ACPS to fulfill the workforce needs of Northern Virginia and beyond and contribute to a qualified healthcare workforce of tomorrow. Thank you. And next, I'd like to welcome Dr. Jeffrey S. Ackman to the, from the George Washington University. He serves as Vice President for Health Affairs, the Walter A. Blodorn Professor of Administrative Medicine, and the Dean of the GW School of Medicine and Health Sciences. Please help me welcome Dr. Ackman. Thank you, Principal Bayless, and good afternoon to everyone. Uh, it's great to be with, here with you in the city of Alexandria and in the Commonwealth of Virginia, a state where GW has been part of the educational landscape for nearly 60 years and where I lived when I was a GW medical student. It's an honor and a privilege to be on the stage today with leadership from GW, Alexandria City Public Schools, T.C. Williams High School, the bright, talented students who line the stage, and with fellow physician, Virginia Governor Ralph Northam. I'd also like to recognize Dr. Reamer Bouchard, Senior Associate Dean for Health Sciences, and our ACPS and T.C. Williams colleagues for their exceptional leadership and hard work on this exciting initiative. Each year, when our students at GW School of Medicine and Health Sciences begin their studies, I'm inspired by their dedication to service, their desire to make a difference in their patients' lives and in their communities, and also with their amazing enthusiasm and motivation for their careers in medicine and the health professions. This academy intends to harness that same desire to serve our fellow man and the same passion at the very beginning of the student's journey to a career in healthcare. I've just had the opportunity to chat with students in the program, and it's evident that these students are on a pathway to success and will do great things with the knowledge they will gain through this Governor's Health Sciences Academy. New Health Sciences Academy students, you're awesome, and you're an inspiration to all of us. The GW Academic Medical Center plays an important role in building a diverse healthcare workforce that embraces the challenges of achieving health equity or the attainment of the highest level of health for all people. We're dedicated to improving the health of our local, national, and global communities through our missions of education and the advancement of knowledge through research and discovery. Through this partnership and the support of the community in the Commonwealth of Virginia, we will do just that. We're building a robust pipeline of students who will become the next generation of healthcare professionals and the kind of leaders who will improve the health of this region. The students in the academy will benefit from instruction by highly qualified and dedicated T.C. Williams teachers as well as faculty and healthcare leaders from GW and the School of Medicine and Health Sciences. These educators are uniquely prepared to help students explore careers that leverage their talents 
and nurture their individual strengths. As the first of its kind private public health sciences academy partnership in Virginia, we believe that this partnership will serve as a model for future opportunities with community-led workforce development at the center. It's a momentous day and the fact that the program has been designated a Governor's Health Sciences Academy validates the vision that brought us here today and our collective efforts to make a difference in the lives of T.C. Williams students and in the health of our community. We could not be more pleased to be uh, partners with the Commonwealth of Virginia and the Alexandria community on this important project, creating pipelines to training and careers in healthcare. Now, it's my distinct pleasure to welcome the president of the George Washington University, Thomas LeBlanc. Thank you, Dean Ackman, and good afternoon, everyone. It is truly an honor and a privilege to be here with all of you today. The George Washington University is dedicated to furthering human well-being and commits itself to excellence in the creation, dissemination, and application of knowledge. And that commitment is extended to each and every one of you. Students, as you look out from this stage, you will see an extensive network of individuals, including elected officials from every level of government, community leaders, business leaders, our community college partners, including President Scott Rawls of NOVA, and most importantly, your family and peers who are all rooting for your success and have given their time, their energy, and their resources to ensure that you have everything you need to succeed. In addition to the resources in this room, those offered by Alexandria City Public Schools, George Washington University, and the Commonwealth, I'm also pleased to share with you today that we have received word that the federal government is investing in your future as well. GW School of Medicine and Health Sciences has just received a $3.2 million grant from the United States Health Resources and Services Administration to address regional healthcare workforce needs. This funding will provide scholarships and stipends for students who might not otherwise be able to continue their education beyond high school, as well as support for career counseling and fund a virtual anatomy simulator, which we, you will all have the opportunity to try out right here in this school. And this is just the beginning. I have no doubt that under the leadership of Dean Ackman in the School of Medicine and Health Sciences, and our partners at Alexandria City Public Schools, who will have many more exciting announcements and opportunities to come. It is clear that this region is a hub for innovation, problem solving, and addressing society's most complex issues. Today, with the start of this Governor's Academy, we are beginning the process of tackling a healthcare workforce challenge. GW has been a dedicated academic partner in this region for nearly 200 years, and we will continue to strive for preeminence in all of our endeavors. To all of our current and future partners, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to work together. The students on this stage represent the best of what our partnership can facilitate. Students, being dual enrolled means that you are not only Titans, but you are also GW Colonials. And with that comes tremendous opportunities to learn and grow. I encourage each of you to take advantage of the many academic resources and extracurricular offerings that both institutions provide. And as part of our guaranteed admissions agreement, I hope to see many of you again in just four short years on campus at GW. In closing, thank you Governor Northam for joining us to celebrate this momentous occasion and congratulations again to our partners at Alexandria City Public Schools my colleagues in the GW School of Medicine and Health Sciences, and to the inaugural cohort of the Governor's Health Sciences Academy at T.C. Williams High School. Thank you. Now, please join me in welcoming ACPS Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Gregory C. Hutchings, Jr.
A T.C. Williams High School graduate himself, Dr. Hutchings came up through the ranks of ACPS as a student. He returned here to ACPS earlier in his career as a director of pre-K through 12 initiatives and a director of middle school programs. In 2013, he became the superintendent of Shaker Heights School, which is located in a suburb of Cleveland, Ohio. He served there for five years. He returned once again to ACPS as our superintendent of schools in July. Please join me in welcoming our own homegrown titan, Dr. Gregory C. Hutchings, Jr. Thank you. So to our students and their families and to the teams of administrators and educators from Alexandria City Public Schools to George Washington University and the many others who have been working for nearly two years to bring this vision into fruition, congratulations. The launch of this program is such an incredible milestone for the many enti uh, entities, excuse me, involved, and we appreciate all of you being here to celebrate it with us. Partnerships like this with George Washington University are the future of education, and we are proud to be at the forefront and serve as a model for the Commonwealth. Thank you, Governor Northam for being here to commend these bright young students and for joining us in cutting a ribbon as a symbol of the launch of the Governor's Health Sciences Academy at T.C. Williams High School. And what we hope will be the first of many such programs here at T.C. Williams. As you all know, we are beginning our high school project right now, so there may be many more opportunities like this in the future. But we appreciate your support and your endorsement of the program as a fully fledged Governor's Academy for the 2018-2019 school year. Thank you also to Dr. Ackman, Dr. LeBlanc, and all of those with the George Washington University's School of Medicine and Health Sciences, as well as the Alexandria City Public Schools who helped make this amazing experience a reality. Our world is changing and it's evolving as, as the skills and knowledge needed to succeed in the 21st century are apparent. Our work today in preparing our young people for the, work, for the workplace of tomorrow is absolutely crucial. This is a perfect example of just that. As I look at all of these tremendously bright young people who are standing or sitting right now on this stage uh, with us, our first cohort of students to actually participate in our new Governor's Academy, I am beyond elated with what this opportunity means for the future, not only of these young people, but for the future of generations to come in T.C. Williams High School. This opportunity is going to afford them expanded access to a high demand, high skills, health sciences careers, exposure to the academic rigor that they can expect at the college level, but with the support and guidance they need to learn today to be successful in college. The opportunity to earn college credit in high school, reducing the number of courses that may be required in college. Students, you all are pioneers in what we aim to be the first of many programs of its kind for our school division. We are also eager to support you on your journey and to see where it takes you. I present to you all the class of 2022. So and now I have the honor of including the 73rd governor of the fine Commonwealth of Virginia, Governor Ralph Northam. With his deep roots in Virginia and in the health and medical sciences, it is, it is especially fitting and meaningful that he is an integral part of this celebration. Prior to becoming Lieutenant Governor and then Governor of Virginia, Governor Northam served as an Army doctor and pediatric neurologist, among other roles. As an Army doctor, he served in Germany, treating soldiers wounded in Operation Desert Storm. He began practicing pediatric neurology in Norfolk before establishing children's, 
before establishing a children's specialty group, which is his current medical practice. Governor Northam, Northam also taught medicine and ethics at Eastern Virginia Medical School and volunteered as medical director for the Edmark Hospice for Children, where he spent 18 years caring for terminally ill children. As you can see, his care and his passion and his commitment to the children and the citizens of Virginia runs deep. So at this time, please join me in welcoming our governor, Governor Ralph Northam. Please be seated. Well, good afternoon. It is. Uh, Indeed, a tremendous privilege to be here. Do Dr. Hutchins, thanks you so much for your kind introduction. And I also must say, uh, having been here for just a little bit and, and seen the program and, and just been able to interact with the staff uh, from, from GW and from the school board and from the folks that work here at this school, thank you so much for the hospitality. You all have so much to be proud of. It is, it's also great to see Titan Pride, right? Is that what you say? Yeah. What an experience this is for these ninth grade students, uh, a little bit over a hundred of them, to be immersed and be able to experience uh, health care and, and really to, to follow their dreams. And I, I haven't talked to all of them, but every one of them I have gone up to uh, have been so cordial and so polite and uh, so driven, uh, and they have dreams. And I always encourage people to be whatever you want to be, and I've already heard two of them want to be anesthesiologists. One wants to be a cardiothoracic surgeon. One wants to be uh, an OBGYN doctor. Uh, now get this, uh, one wants to be a pediatrician, but after I talk to her for just a little bit, She's going to be a pediatric neurologist. So. <laughs> and I also wanted to commend the parents. Uh, Pam and I have two children. Uh, uh, they're 30 and 27. One has grown up to be a, a neurosurgeon, the other a, a web developer. But uh, thank you for allowing your children to have the opportunity to do what they're doing. And you just have a tremendous, tremendous amount to be proud of, so we congratulate you. And I, as I uh, reminded you, uh, I am a child neurologist, and I'm happy to see opportunities like this to expose young people to healthcare careers. Our administration is focused on training our youth for 21st century jobs, and they are much different from when some of us were growing up. And I know you've heard us talk about STEM, right? You hear that all the time. But if it's OK, I have added a, a couple letters to that. I call it STEAM H. So science, technology, engineering, the arts, math, and healthcare. That's what my background is in. And so the jobs of the 21st century are in areas like cybersecurity and unmanned aerial systems, biotechnology, data collection, data analysis. So our job is to teach and train uh, our youth for these 21st century jobs. And we need a workforce ready to fill the jobs of the 21st century, and there will always be a need for trained healthcare workers. Workforce development and ensuring that Virginians have the skills and resources needed to find jobs whenever they decide to enter the workforce has been a priority of mine. One of my first acts as governor was to create a senior advisor for workforce development, a cabinet level position. Dr. Megan Healy works every day with employers, educators, apprenticeship programs, and directly with job seekers to find jobs that help keep people and businesses right here in Virginia. Unfortunately, in a number of high demand fields, including healthcare, we're falling short. Jobs in healthcare are projected to grow 18% in 
through 2026, adding about 2.3 million new positions nationwide, more than any other occupational group, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Programs like this academy are vitally important to help us meet these demands. I was proud this year that we were able to pass legislation to expand health care access to 400,000 more working Virginians. I remind people I remind people every day that no person, no family should be one medical illness away from financial demise. Everyone deserves an affordable, quality health care, and that's where the students here in this program can play a vital role. To the, excuse me, to the academy teachers, another critically needed profession, thank you for everything you are doing for our students. This partnership provides support and services, such as professional development and access to academic services provided by the George Washington University School of Medicine and Health Sciences, scholarships to further your education and attend the George Washington University, an opportunity for adjunct instructor appointments at GW School of Medicine and Health Sciences. In Virginia, we are working hard to make sure all Virginians have access to education that is affordable, accessible, and delivered in a timely fashion. This partnership between Alexandria City Public Schools and the George Washington University fulfills all of these requirements. Number one, it's affordable, free tuition for students. Number two, it's accessible. In this inaugural class, 70% are female, more than 15 languages are spoken, and more than half are the first in their family to pursue a healthcare career. And third, timely. Upon graduation, each of these students will have options. All of them will have an industry certification that will provide entry-level opportunities in the career pathway of their choosing. They can choose to pursue an associate's degree at Nova or another outstanding community college or go on to pursue a four-year degree at GW or another institution. This partnership is not only a model for private higher education institutions partnering with public K through 12 systems, but it provides innovative solutions that could be re replicated throughout Virginia. So I offer my congratulations to Alexandria City Public Schools and the George Washington University on this model partnership. Congratulations to students and parents who are in the academy and to all of the business and community leaders who have taken time to be here today. Thank you for your support and interest in this partnership. You play an important role in the success of this academy and its students. So I say this to the students and your families, whether you want to be a doctor, a nurse, a physician's assistant, a nurse practitioner, or a technician, we all work as a team. We're all in this together to take care of our patients in the best way that we can. And I will tell you that having practiced medicine for over 30 years, I can't think of a re more rewarding profession. So to all of you up here on this stage, the future is yours, uh, aim high. As I just said, you can be whatever you want to be. Uh, we're so proud of you. Keep up the great work. Uh, congratulations and good luck to all of you. Thank you so much. At this time, if I could ask our speakers to, and our selected students to join us at the banner, the ribbon. Don't forget to.
This concludes our program. I would like to thank all of our speakers um, and especially thank Governor Ralph Northam for taking the time to be with us here today. And um, thank you also for your time. <laughs>